So this is going to be the board that I'm working with today. I have my Haku soldering iron set up right now next to me and I'm going to start soldering in these box navy switches. This is a DZ60 and just the stock plate that comes with the Tina C kit. So I ordered the black Tina which I'll show in a moment. So here is the Tina case. It's a pretty nice case, it's hefty. It's not like the Korean customs but it's still really good. Really like the way it feels, the color is nice, there's a steel weight in the bottom, it's red. It's got this acrylic diffuser on the inside, so the RGB lights under the DZ60, they'll shine through the back. Overall it's a really nice case, I'm looking forward to actually doing something with it, I've had it sitting for a couple months now. Now one thing about the Tina C kit that I will note, it does not come with genuine cherry stabilizers, or at least the stabilizers that I got weren't very high quality. Maybe they're genuine, but the the metal rods, or whatever you call those, the actual part of the stabilizer, they were a lot thinner than genuine cherry ones. So I just ordered some genuine cherry stabs. So everything else in here, so the plate, PCB, and the case, that's all from the Tina kit except for the switches and the stabilizers. So now that the board's put all together, uh, we have to program it. So this is the website that I use to build the firmware and everything, it's just QMK Firmware Builder. Uh, I'm going to leave this in the description so you guys can use it. Then you just scroll down over here, so here's DZ60HHKB, click that, and it shows you the board. So I like to use CAPS as my function key to access my function layer. So you just click on that, key map. And then from here, you can actually scroll down and you can adjust whatever you want. So, primary, secondary, keypad, lighting. So yeah, the DZ60 does have RGB underglow and you can adjust this. So you can change the colors and everything to whatever you want. So I'm going to create the layer that I want and everything and set the board up the way I like and then I'll be back with typing tests and all that stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with typing tests. These are really loud, really heavy, and super tactile switches. So here it goes.